Hey guys, welcome back. This is Alberto here, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys. I have a question in the channel related to can we use the ambient occlusion as like converted to a mask or something like that? And um, my answer was yes, you can actually use it and you know make your own mask with it because it's a generator. So if when you bake your um, your maps, you're gonna have this ambient occlusion right here. And Simpson Painter already has a generator that it's ambient occlusion, so he's gonna use whatever you have baked in. So we're gonna use this, we're gonna create a base here, something, you know, um, just to start with, and we go something like that so we can see what the effects, just put it really shiny. All right, so we're gonna put another fill on top, we're gonna to add a black mask to it, right click generator over here, and let's go to ambient occlusion, right there. We're gonna select that, and obviously it's, you know, this is the ambient occlusion right there we're seeing right here. So let me just uh, adjust here a little bit. So what you see here is he's using, um, let, me, let me open the mask here. So you can go here to the top, visualize the ambient occlusion over here, or you can just alt and click in your black mask right here, and you can visualize uh, the ambient occlusion effect. So whatever is black here, it's actually showing the, uh, the material below. It's actually it's act acting as a mask right now. And whatever is white, it's gonna be uh, this color right here. So this is what you see right now. So in order to uh, actually have this cavity right here, you use the color that we had over here, you can use it, you can invert that effect. So you can go over here, global invert, invert, and there you go. So now it's actually behaving like some sort of a like dirt cavity kind of thing. So this is, yeah, let me just, uh, yeah, kind of like that. Put a light like this one and very like no there you go no shiny at all there you go and you can actually just you know if you don't like that effect of course we can we can we can do a lot of stuff with it so you can control it here as you want all right so we're gonna just add another fill layer on top and i love doing this kind of stuff it's repetitive i love it and by default it's not gonna say grunge you can just type grunge and you can have access to all this stuff so let me just uh, get this one over here. Contrast, something like that. And let's go to here, switch this to uh, subtract. And we're gonna subtract from, you know, from the ambient occlusion. If you don't like that one, you can just uh, switch it up. Let's go with something more subtle. I like this one over here. So you can see the effect. See that? It changed a lot, so I'm just uh, more, there you go. Oh man, I love this stuff. There you go. So one thing you can do is you can, um, oh, oh, look at this. If you invert it, it's, you look at the effect that's gonna happen. There you go, invert it back. So you can actually use, duplicate this one and the other one can be inverted in, in the other direction, so. And let me add another, probably another one, just to have an extra detail, oh, not a paint. Extra, add a fill. Probably about this one. Try planer. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna switch it to subtract. And now we have extra details to it. And if you don't like the intensity, you can, you know, you can just lower it a little bit. There you go. But you have extra details on that right there. Pretty cool, huh? And Yep, love the effect. I love it. So I, I guess this answer the question about, you know, using the admin occlusion and turning into a mask. So here it is. All right, quick one. And all right, so uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be all. So guys, if you liked it, the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, it's gonna help me to, you know, keep going with this stuff. Um, hope you like it and see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.